Today we're going to be reviewing the I Am Magic Natural Radiance Foundation. I did pick up two different shades and I'm going to be comparing both of these so you can see the different undertones to these colors here. So on my right I have the color Caracas and on my left I have the color Bombay. I also did pick up the powder foundation. This one is in the color Bogata. I am currently wearing this right now. Okay along with one of these. And I'm gonna share with you guys my review as I have already done a wear test. I've worn it all day. And I have been using different products, like different primers to see which one works best for my skin type. So before we get started, I do wanna to talk to you guys about my skin type so that you guys can know whether this is gonna be a good match for you guys. So usually with luminous, dewy foundations, those type of foundations are just really good for people that have dry skin but I have combination skin my skin type is normal to oily skin and this foundation works really good with my skin type regardless and I'm going to show you what products I use to make this last all day so let's go ahead and jump into a review of the new I am magic radiance foundation along with their powder foundation no I'd rather be waking up with you set up alone in your room slept with the light on waiting up for you don't I wanted to take the time to swatch these for you. So I'm gonna get started by swatching the color Bombay. And you guys can see that this color right here has more of a warm undertone and it doesn't blend into my neck. This is definitely my color for the summertime. I do get more on the warm side. So I really wanted to pick this up just because we're gonna start getting warmer weather here in California. I also have a trip coming up in March where I'm gonna be getting a lot of sun. So I think that this color is definitely gonna work for me during that time. Now we're gonna swatch the color Caracas and Caracas has a more neutral undertone. You guys can see here that this blends so good into my neck and that's kind of like what you wanna go towards. You want something that's gonna blend seamlessly going to your chest area. So whenever you are looking for a foundation, make sure that you lean more towards something that's gonna complement your your skin tone overall because you guys can see that on my face it does look like this color has is a lot lighter than my face color but you want something that's going to look good overall so that is my advice when picking out a correct foundation shade for you now i want to talk about this foundation to you guys because i've already worn this i made a video over on my instagram and i did a full wear test this foundation has more of a radiant finish and it's also really good for people that have dry skin i have combination skin my skin is normal to oily and it does get pretty oily through the day so this product can definitely work for you I'm just going to show you the products that I think work the best if you do have combination skin if you have my skin type normal to oily so let me share those products with you guys we're going to go ahead and apply the primer first this primer is from Murad 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 it is pretty pricey okay I'm very thankful that they sent it to me to actually they didn't send it to me i got it in my ipsy box um so i just been very lucky because this product is pretty pricey but it is so good i will definitely be buying myself this as soon as i run out this is the oil and pore control mattifying spectrum spf 45 this controls your oil through the day so again I have oily skin and this works so good underneath any luminous finish foundations this is an oil-free lightweight SPF moisturizer it instantly minimizes the appearance of your pores by 54% and delivers 10 hours of oil shine and pore control I'm just gonna be applying about this much and I'm gonna focus it right in here get my acne marks because you have to get SPF onto those acne marks if you have any it smells really good too. It doesn't smell like your typical sunblock. You guys can see it does not leave a white cast, which is my favorite part about this. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to go into the beauty sponge. This is the Juvia's Place beauty sponge. It looks like a little water drop and the little tip of it makes it so easy to get your concealer under there. I really do like the sponge. And it is damp, by the way. So we're going to go into my foundation in the color Caracas. I'm going to put it to the back of the hand, just one pump. Make sure that you do shake it in a downward motion so that you can get the product out easily. Now I'm going to use this flat side of the sponge right here. You guys can see the shape of it. I'm going to use that to go into my foundation. 
and we're gonna begin to apply it. Look at that coverage, you guys. This foundation is also buildable, so you can definitely build up on the coverage, but I like more of a natural finish. I have another new foundation that I can't wait to review for you guys. I haven't really tried it myself, so it's gonna be like more of a first impression type of video, but I am loving that brands are coming out with some fun complexion products. Like I just reviewed Kat Von D's foundation and that one works so good. If you have oily skin, you definitely need to check out that video. I'm gonna link it up here for you guys so you guys can go watch that. That foundation is incredible, I love it. Blending it all the way down to my neck. So I just needed one pump to cover one side of my face. So we're probably gonna use two pumps in total to get the coverage that I want. You guys see how beautiful that just blends into my skin? It looks really good. So we're gonna go into the other side now. I'm gonna put another pump. This is where I have like the deeper marks for my acne marks, for my acne, for my pimple marks, my pimple, my beauty marks. <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. You guys can see now that it did cover up my pimples, but we're gonna go in with a little bit because I had some leftover foundation on my hand. I'm gonna go over this area so you guys can see how well this builds up. Ooh, can't forget the nose right here. Okay, that looks absolutely beautiful. And now we're gonna proceed with doing the rest of my complexion. I'm gonna share with you guys some of my favorite products that I am just obsessed with right now. In my last KVD Beauty, the complexion video that I did, I shared with you guys that I love this concealer right here. This is the Best Skin Ever Concealer. This is a full coverage, multi-use concealer. It gives you a natural finish, it's long wearing. The color that I'm using is 21.5Y. And I believe this concealer is only $15. So I'm applying it to the key points of my face and I'm gonna take the tip, the tippy, <laughs> the tip of the sponge to blend this out. You guys can see how easy it just gets into the corner of the eye right here. I try not to get too close to my waterline because I have very sensitive eyes to makeup. I can't be wearing heavy makeup anymore. It's very difficult for me to go about my day if I get makeup in my eye. <laughs> so I just try to be as careful as possible. And now that I have my concealer on, I'm gonna go into a setting powder. Again, you guys, I have combination skin, so I definitely have to use powder. I can't just go like this unless I'm using the KVD New Foundation. The KVD New Foundation, I did not have to even set my face. I didn't have to, but I, I think I did in that video. It is perfect for oily skin, but with this luminous finish, I definitely have to set my entire face. So I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Foundation Powder. This is in the color Bogata. It has a little mirror right here so that you can touch up and it's just perfect to stuff in your purse and touch up throughout the day if you do get oily. And you lift it up right in here. Hold on, I don't wanna put my nail in it. And you have a little sponge. Can touch up through the day. So I'm gonna do that right now and just touch up on the areas. I definitely can't just do powder by itself because my skin is not like, it doesn't do good. It doesn't look good with just powder. I used to do that with the L'Oreal powder back in the day when I was in high school. And I, I just can't do that anymore. It doesn't look good on my skin type. But here we are this Powder also has great coverage and I'm just using it to set my entire face. You guys can see how you, the shine is just disappearing. I used to work at Ulta and my favorite thing was to shade match people. Like people would come in and be like, I just don't know what my color is. And I'll be like, girl, come here, sit down, I got you. I wish I can do that for all of you guys. Um, but unfortunately I can't look at a picture and determine your undertone. Pictures don't do much. I have to like see you in person, you know what I mean? Now to warm up the face, I'm gonna be going into my Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer. This one is in the color Deep Tan and it does have a little bit of a radiant finish. Like it gives you like a radiance bronze, like you can see the glowiness of it. So I think it's like the perfect thing to go with your radiant foundation. 
because through the day, this foundation, you will see the radiance come through. I know I just said it with powder, but you, you guys will definitely see the radiance come through after you wear the foundation throughout the day and you know all those oils start to come through if you have oily skin it's gonna still have that beautiful cover it's just gonna look more radiant I'm pretty happy with that now and now I'm gonna take the pom-pom blush from benefit cosmetics this is a pomegranate rose blush and it gives you a juicy color and a natural matte finish I'm done with my complexion I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and eye makeup off of camera. I'm also going to do a lippy off camera and I'll be back to um, just show you guys the finished look. All right guys, so I just finished up the rest of my face makeup. Now you guys can take a good look at my skin. You, you guys can see the luminosity start to peek through right here. This is the area where I do tend to get really oily through the day, but the coverage is still there. It looks amazing and I just realized my eyebrow needs a little bit of filling in. Just a little bit right here. If you guys want to see an eye tutorial on the look that you guys are seeing right now on my face, you guys can head over to my Instagram. I will have the video linked down below in the description box. And I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys found this video informative as to the products that work the best with this foundation. If you have combination skin like myself, if you guys do have any questions for me, please leave them down below in the comments. And I will get back to you guys as soon as I can. I appreciate your time. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please please subscribe down below, turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I have a new video here on my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Have you shopped with me yet? Go ahead and take a look. I have so many eyelashes, different styles to complement any occasion. I also sell eyelash glue. I have press on nail sets that I hand paint with love myself. I sell press on nail kits, which you can do your own DIY nails or maybe you wanna sell your own press on nails. I have so much to offer on my website, so go ahead and visit www.sonadoraofficial.com.